A massive manhunt involving specialized teams has been launched to rearrest the escapees before any harm is bestowed on innocent Kenyans. Director of Criminal Investigation has put a 60 million shillings bounty on the heads of terror suspects. Addressing the security operatives at Kamiti Maximum Prison, Matiangi said, and I quote, We will not only go the direction the investigation will point us, but we will act resolutely to ensure this kind of recklessness does not happen again because it exposes our people. End of quote. Offering a bounty of 60 million shillings on the head of the terror convicts, Matiang said the government will protect whistleblowers who will volunteer information that could lead to the rearresting of the prisoners. The CS, however, urged Kenyans not to panic over the latest mysterious escape of the dangerous prisoners, saying security teams were on high alert and had managed to preempt many of the planned terror attacks. The CS, who was flanked by Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho and Zainab Mohamed, the Inspector General of Police, Hilary Mutiambai and Commissioner General of Police Wycliffe Ogalo. Mohamed Ali Bekar was charged and convicted in 2019 over his links to Al Shabaab and for abetting the Garissa University attack of April 2015 that left 148 people dead. Joseph Juma Adhiambo Alias Yusuf was arrested in 2019 for trying to join the Somali terror group. Musharraf Abdallah Ahulunga Alias Zarkawi was arrested in 2012 for a foiled attack on Kenya's parliament and charged with possessing explosives, ammunition and firearms. The SKPs are described as armed and dangerous.